hive, and this is the honeycomb from the hive. These are the bees making honey. Check it out. And if you can see right here, this is fresh honey. You do not get fresher than that. She is brave. Our resident holistic nutritionist, Andrea Donsky, braved the bees this week to bring us the buzz about the health benefits of honey. Shall we call you Ambia Donsky instead of <laughs> Andrea this morning? Oh, I like that. That's hey. awesome. Hey. Talk about it. First of all, bees are so crucial to the planet and to our food supply. They are. Bees are responsible for literally a third, a pollinating a third of the plants that we eat for the human yeah. diet. It's unbelievable. They're so essential. The plants are like vegetables and fruits, like apples and broccoli and cauliflower, even mustard and coffee. We need to protect them. We need to protect them. They're so important for us. Okay, and here, bees love plants. And they love bright color plants. So what they do is they forage the flowers, they drink the nectar, and then they bring the nectar back to the hive to make the honey. Okay. So we want to keep things like dandelions, echinacea, we want to keep them in our yards. The dandelions, they're not weeds. They attract the bees. And you don't have to spend a lot of money. There's so many different types of honey out there to reap the benefits because there are so many locally harvested brands and types of honey that have incredible health properties. Exactly. I love that you said that. Okay, so all the honey on the table today is good for us. It's all nutritious. What we want to stay away from is pasteurized honey okay. so honey that has been heated to 180 degrees because then it depletes its nutrients okay. there's over 300 different types of honey wow. on the market in Ontario the two most popular are buckwheat and wildflower okay now when it comes to the benefits the health benefits of honey it's numerous because it's a live food so it has enzymes it has vitamins it has minerals and it has antibacterial and antiviral properties so you could take it I mean our mom used to put As it in, put it in honey you have a sore throat but also you can put it on cuts and scrapes that's why they say to have it in your tea when you're sick because right. it's it certain it does help with strep throat it and things starts like that. The, the healing process yeah. so the different types of honey that we're going to talk about today is there's liquid honey so liquid honey is probably the most popular that okay. we're familiar with mm -hmm. and it's literally the state of the honey in the hive so you can do it so versatile it's spreadable it's pourable you can put it in your coffee your tea you can even put it on your pancakes if you want and it gets hard sometimes that's okay you could just set it on room temperature and it'll just melt down right that's right Outside you put it fridge. under a little bit of warm water right so all honey over time will crystallize unless it's pasteurized to that high temperature so, so that's what we want to avoid though do you store it in the fridge? Because I know this is a debate. No, I don't. I keep, oh, it, in my, I keep it in my pantry. Okay, good yeah. to know. All right, so next we've got raw honey. Now, raw honey is in its crude form. It's what we take it out of the hive, okay. and it can have little pieces of the hive oh, in it. So thick. it can have some propolis. It can have some pollen. It can even have some bee parts. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks for telling me that now. Oh, as I put it in my mouth. Nutritious and bees are super clean. So what it's sort of bee totally parts? Fine. It can have bees legs. It can have bees legs. Poor bee. Super totally We're fine. Right. To eat. All right. So next we've got organic honey. Now, in, when it co comes to organic, they're referring to the forage area around the hive. So in order for honey to be called organic, it needs a three-kilometer radius without oh, any chemicals. Is that how they do it? Yeah. This so is no so chemicals thick. sprayed on any of the forage again. Now, what do you do with this? Because it's so beautifully creamy. Oh, so basically, so we're going to get to actually the creamed okay. honey. Oh, so, that and that is, does have a creamy consistency, okay. but this is creamed honey. And it refers to the packing technique when they churn it and they actually cool the honey. So there's nothing added to it. So there's no dairy or cream added to it. It's pure honey, but it's more spreadable. So like a, you would a, a, a peanut butter almond butter, a jam. You can throw honey. Throw yeah. it on your pancakes as right, well. Right. And then lastly, we've got the comb honey. This oh is the gosh. freshest. Dina, you have to try this. This, this is, is the honeycomb that they take out of the hive. Mm. Is that not amazing? Beautiful. Mm. Delicious. All right, okay, so, this is dangerous now. Okay, so when it comes to honey, there are different classes and, gra and grades and colors. Okay. But That's I was delicious. so blessed. And then Dickie Bee gave us this amazing beehive. Okay. So what you can do is open it up. So they're in there? Just watch out for the bees. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Totally kidding. No bees inside. Oh, psych. All right, so this is the honeycomb, and this is what the bees use that we saw in the video in the front where they start making their honey. To recreate. To recreate that. That. Is that not That's amazing? That's how it happens, kids. All from these awesome little super bees, and they're so important, like you said, to our food chain, to the planet, and they heal us with their honey. All good. That's why the buzz is all about the bees. It is. And be a Donsky. Thank you so Busy much. Busy bee. Busy bee. For more information <laughs> at Naturally Savvy at Andrew Donsky and Breakfast Television. That's it. Dot C. That was delicious. Right now, so over to yummy, you. right? He's sweet as honey. Over to you, Russ.